And uh, next we have um, Mrs. Peggy Fisher Kamichiak. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. I haven't spoken in front of the board for a couple of years, but I thought I, I would, uh, I wanted to share a story with you that um, happened um, the last couple of weeks. It's been just about five years since our district went through its, un, its own personal civil war over the legacy initi initiative. It was a very difficult and painful time for the city, as transitions usually are. The LI was a plan that was implemented under the guidance of Dr. Leopold, supported by the board and the staff to save a school district that was in declining enrollment as much money as possible while enhancing programs for our children. It did accomplish that, but most of us could never have foreseen what was in store for us financially. The closing of seven schools was very difficult for many, yet we realize now that if we hadn't closed those schools, our district would be bankrupt. The dedication of our teachers, administration, and staff throughout all of this process has truly amazed me. As for the 5-6 configuration, I've heard wonderful things from parents and teachers from these schools. As a matter of fact, although we were first, many other districts have now followed Livonia's lead and have 5-6 um, um, combinations, among them Brighton, Farmington, Bloomfield Hills, or West Bloomfield, or Bloomfield, I get them mixed up, Lincoln Park, uh, Wayne Westland, and many more. But what I really wanted to do tonight is to share this story that someone told me recently. We were discussing, some friends of ours, our favorite topic, our children. When I jokingly asked this couple who were Churchill High School graduates, which I am the proud parent of two Churchill High School graduates, uh, how they could have sent their children to Franklin. And they told us that when they bought their house, it actually was in the Churchill area, and that they could see Riley from their front porch. The redistricting changed all that, and they would have to bus their children all the way to Cooper. And that is why they volunteered to me that they oppose the LI. But um, they went on to say that Cooper, Emerson, and Franklin have been absolutely wonderful for their children, and they praised the teachers, the staff, and the principal of these three schools. But then they added, our children have had great experiences and made wonderful friends that have really enriched their lives, and that if there had not been the Legacy Initiative, they would have never met these friends or had these experiences. They could not imagine not being part of the Cooper, Emerson, and Franklin system. Back in 2005, no one had a crystal ball to see into our school district's future. But the decisions made back then, though through much blood, sweat, and tears were the right ones, and time has shown that. I would tonight like to publicly thank the board members that served at that time uh, that supported this, uh, Mrs. Scheel, Mr. Lassard, Mr. Freeman, and Mr. Ope, for their support during that really difficult time. But I especially want to express my very deep gratitude to Dr. Leopa for his wisdom, his guidance, his strength, and his dedication during these past five years. Thank you, Randy. We are so very grateful. Thank you for your comments.